video monitoring. The settings available in this group control the signal that's output by the video output interface that's connected to your workstation and let you specify what standard of signal is output and via which signal path. By default the frame size and frame rate match those in the timeline resolution and playback frame rate options. However, if necessary you can change these settings to match those of the external display you're using to monitor your work. For example, if you're working with 2K files for 2K output, but you're color correcting using a high definition monitor set to 1080 resolution, you can select the appropriate HD standard for that monitor without changing the timeline resolution settings. Video format lets you choose a video standard combination of frame size and frame rate to be output via your connected video output interface. Video connection checkboxes lets you choose the signal standard to output from your connected video output interface to the video monitor. Make sure to choose a standard that's supported by both your video interface and your monitor. The options are, use 4 4 4 SDI, a signal path for monitoring image data to monitors that supports 4 4 4 chroma sampling, typically over SDI connections. Use level A for 3 gigabits SDI output, a signal path for monitoring image data via a single 3 gigabits per second SDI connection. Use dual outputs on SDI output, all the Vinci Resolve systems can generate a side-by-side -side display that can be sent to a stereoscopic monitor via the HD-SDI output of an Ultra Studio 4K or DeckLink card. When dual SDI 3D monitoring is enabled, each eye is output separately at full resolution. In this mode, split-screen wipes and cursors will not be visible on the grading monitor. SDI Configuration Let's you choose from among single link, dual link, and quad link SDI, depending on what your display supports. Data levels. This setting only affects the data levels being output via the video interface that connects the DaVinci Resolve workstation to your external display. It has no effect on the data that's processed internally by DaVinci Resolve or on the files written when you render in the deliver page. It is imperative that the option you choose in DaVinci Resolve matches the data range to which your external display is set. Otherwise, the video signal will appear to be incorrect, even though the internal data is being processed accurately by DaVinci Resolve. There are two options, video, this is the correct option to use when using a broadcast display set to the REC 709 video standard. Full, if your monitor or projector is capable of displaying full-range video signals and you wish to monitor the full 10-bit data range, 0 to 1023, while you work, this is the correct option to use. Retain sub-black and super-white data, turning this checkbox on lets DaVinci Resolve output the undershoots, sub-black, and overshoots, super-white, within the headroom of video encoded data levels to video. When this is turned off, these out-of-bounds values are clipped in video output. Video bit depth. Choose the bit depth that corresponds to the capability of your display. You can choose between 8-bit and 10-bit. Monitoring in 10-bit is more processor-intensive, but preferable to avoid the appearance of banding that may not in fact be in the image data being processed by DaVinci Resolve. Monitor Scaling defaults to basic and is only enabled to smooth the edges of video being viewed on a projector with very large screens. These settings minimize high-frequency artifacts that may be seen. This may also be noticeable if you have a 2K or HD project but are monitoring on an SD monitor. The other option, bilinear, has different effects on the monitored image depending on your display device, so you may need to check to verify that it's appropriate for your environment. Use Rec. 601 matrix for 4 colon 2 colon 2 SDI output. Don't use this checkbox unless you know what it does. You know who you are. Enable HDR metadata over HDMI, only available in studio version. Turning on this checkbox outputs the metadata necessary to send high dynamic range signals over HDMI 2.0a and have it be correctly decoded by an HDR aware video display. When this checkbox is enabled, it's recommended to also enable the HDR mastering is for XNIT's checkbox in the color management page and set the NIT level, slang for CD slash M2, to 
to whatever peak luminance level your HDMI-connected HDR display is capable of.